There are several functions for processing tables that are available from the miscellaneous menu. Select miscellaneous. Options include changing the table number, which will let you assign a ticket from one table to another table. Select merge two tables will allow you to take two different tables and combine them together. Simply select the first table and the second table and then hit OK and it will merge those two tables. You also have the option of enabling all tables. Enabling all tables will allow a cashier when they select the table button to see tickets for all servers not just their own tickets. Change number of guests will allow you to reset the number of guests uh, once you have a table selected to a new number of guests. Table management takes you into the table management and reservation system which is not covered in the BPA video training series. Remove auto gratuity allows you to remove an auto gratuity that's been added based on the number of guests. Set gratuity percent lets you force a gratuity percent that will be calculated for a ticket uh, independent of the auto gratuity or any other gratuity that is, has been entered. Change item quantity allows you to take an item that's on a ticket and enter a new quantity for that item. The closed receipt reprint lets you reprint a receipt for a closed ticket. The Cook's Printer Order function allows you to change the order of items that are on an, a ticket for the Cook's Printer. Simply select each item and specify if you want to move it up in the order or down in the order. And then it will then print in that order. This can be useful for creating a hold and fire type of feature where items that are held would be moved to the last position. Print all receipts for a server would print all of the tickets for all open tables that a customer or that a, that a server currently has. You can select start tab to create a tab. Creating a tab allows you to swipe a customer's credit card and then that information is saved uh, so that when you cash out and go to pre-authorize their card the information is already there. Check gift card allows you to enter a gift card number and check for a current balance on that gift card. The membership functions allow you to enter an account when you've entered an account, uh, all information on that ticket is now going to have the membership pricing applied if you've specified membership pricing in your product definitions. And the loyalty credit redemption, if you are using customer loyalties and you want to redeem loyalty that's been earned, loyalty points, whether that's in the form of a dollar amount or a discount on this ticket, you specify the account number uh, and then that will be awarded if they've been earned. And finally, you can assign a ticket to a specific customer by selecting the enter a specific customer function.